for your warm up today. You're going to determine if each pair of rates is equivalent. I want you to get this down to the unit rate. So the unit rate and tell me if each pair is equivalent. Okay, so first of all, we set this up 20 miles in five hours, 45 miles in nine hours. I think that's what the question was, yeah. So how do we simplify this? We wanna get it to unit rates. This is pretty simple, Jaden. First one we divide by five, that's the GCF. What's 20 divided by five? Show me your fingers. Yeah. Hey guys, super easy. What's five divided by five? Fingers. One. So our unit rate is four over one. What about the next one? What are we gonna divide by? What about the next one, Kyle? Nine. Nine, exactly. What do we get on the top? Number of fingers. Five. What do we get on the bottom? Number of fingers. One. So. Which one is bigger? Which one's bigger? What do we get, Chase? This one? That's bigger? No. The other one, the 45. Yes. Are these equivalent? No, they are not equivalent. I want you guys to try this one as well and tell me if these are equivalent or not. So, first things first, we'll set up our ratio. We have three shirts for $21. Our other ratio is five shirts for $35. Make sure you guys have this on your paper. Let's make these into unit rates. Let's make these into unit rates. How can I simplify three over 21? What am I gonna do, Shiley? Divide by three. What's three divided by three? Number of fingers. Number of fingers. It's one, three by three, guys. What's 21 divided by three number of fingers? Seven. What are we gonna do on the other side? What are we gonna do on the other side? Let's see, yes, Jocelyn. Jasmine, sorry. Divide by five. Hey guys, number of fingers. What's five divided by five? One number of fingers? It's one. What's 35 divided by five? It is seven. So are these equivalent fractions? Yeah. yeah, they're the same thing. We get one shirt for $7. Excellent. Here's an example too. We can compare with butterfly math. You guys may have heard of this. I love butterfly math. So you remember these ratios. Were these ratios equivalent or no? No. No, these were our earlier ones and they were not equivalent. We can test it with butterfly math too. Butterfly math, we're multiplying like that. It looks like a little bit of a butterfly. You see, like our whoop, whoop. Yeah, I taught it, I taught it for third graders. So what is five times 45? Who can do that? Take your time, write it down on your paper. It's actually not important that we do it. What is it, Kyle? Correct, it is. It's not important that we do it on the paper. 225. What is 20 times nine? This one's pretty easy. What is it, Sean? It's the same as two times nine with a zero at the end. What is it, Caesar? 180. 180. So I'm gonna ask you, is 180 equal to 225? No. no, so we know these are not equivalent. And which fraction's bigger? Which fraction's bigger, Shiley? Yeah, the one with the 225. So this fraction's bigger. That's a quick way we can tell if things are equivalent and which one's bigger. This helps if we can't necessarily get it down to a unit rate. If we can't necessarily get it down to a unit rate, you can use butterfly math. Open your books and pick three of A, B, C, or D on page 60 and 61. JJ is going over A. First, you have to put the three on top of the 36. Oh wait. Oops, I'm, that's my bad. There you go. Perfect. So it was 36 t-shirts in three boxes. We could organize it either way we want. We could put 36. I might even put the 36 over the three because of the way we're doing it. We're gonna get unit rates in boxes. It's the same as long as you can write your sentence in the end. And what's the other ratio? Um, 60 over 
Six. Perfect. Sixty over six. Divide it by 12. Do we divide each? Do we divide them by 12? Yeah. No, we don't divide by 12. Three can't be divided by 12. What are we going to divide by? We're going to get a unit rate. I'll do it. Don't worry. We're going to do a unit rate. So we want to get it down to one on the bottom. What are we going to divide by? Who can tell me? Olivia. Three. But JJ was right in the end because we get 12 over 1. What about the other side? What are we going to divide by Ani? Six. six. What is 6 divided by 6? Who can tell me? What is it? Let's see, Shiley. 1. one. 60 divided by 6. Olivia? Ten. So, are these equivalent? No. no. Our next teacher is Leanne. Come on up, Leanne. I got it right up here. So Leanne, this question says 42 flowers in seven vases versus 54 flowers in nine. So I want you to write it. Here's our pencil. What's on the top? Um, eight. It's okay, take your time. Six. Yeah, we get six. What do we do on the other side? We're gonna divide by what? Nine. We're gonna divide by nine. What is our new ratio? 9 divided by 9 is? 1. 54 divided by 9? Mm. Um, 6. 6. Excellent. Are these equivalent fractions? Yeah. yeah. Yes. 6 over 1 and 6 over 1. Our next teacher is Shiley. You don't need to sit. You can just walk us through it. Well, you can sit here. Me? Yeah, this way. So, Marsha makes 10 bracelets for five friends. Jen makes 12 bracelets for four friends. So let's simplify this first one. So, um, you do, um, uh, what can go into 10 and 5, which is 5, and you divide by 5 and you get 2. And no. Then, oh, I mean not 2, sorry. Okay. Okay, and you get 1, and then you divide by 5 on the bottom and you get 2, and then you get 1 over 2. Excellent. What about our other one? And then um, she, she made 12 bracelets for 4 friends, so you put 4 on the top. You put... Four, um, 
four on the top and you put 12 on the bottom. And then you divide um, what can go into four um, and 12, which is um, four, and you divide by four. And then you get one, and then you divide by four on the, on the bottom, and then you get three. Perfect, but is that correct? Is it correct? Yes. Yes, are these equivalent? No. No, these are not equivalent. Get up. Okay. <laughs> Jaden, come teach the last one. Remember, you don't need to pause, just walk us through it. Ugh. So, do I have to talk to or can I just stay quiet? Do whatever you want, however you want. Excellent. So this question says, Club A raised $168 by washing 42 cars. Club B raised $152 by washing 38 cars. He set it up as a ratio with our colon in between, which I love. So he's going to simplify it and get to a unit rate. What are we going to divide them both by? Four. We can divide it by four. Can we divide it by anything else? Keep going. Just don't. Go know. do it how you do it. You're up. It's up to you, Jaden. Oh, crap. Wait. This is... We're dividing it by 42. Oh, yeah. Four. Wait. Oh, yeah. Right. So, we're going to long divide and see how many times it goes in. Yeah. We're taking our time. Don't worry. Look at that. Wait, wait, no, no. It goes in exactly four. So we get our ratio is a four to one ratio. Let's check with our next one. Let's check with our next one. We want to divide by 38 on both sides. Oh yeah, I was confused. So let's see what we get, Jaden. We get four. We get a four to one, which is exactly, and if we proved it with long division, 38 times 4, we get 2, 3, 12, 152. Excellent. Are these equivalent ratios? Yes, yes they are. So, I, was like super confused. I want you guys to pick 3 on page 62 to do, and then we can start our homework.